Welcome to part one of My Music Presents, The B-Sides. Over the next two weeks, we'll be unearthing some fantastic moments from the My Music Presents archives featuring a variety of our incredible guests. Best of all, everything we're about to show you has never been seen before. Just like the face of Nanny from the Muppet Babies. I think the only reason Nanny decided to release this is because of his obsession with unreleased material. Anyway, we provided tabs at the bottom of the screen so you can go back and forth between segments. But my suggestion is to watch the whole show. Trust me, you don't want to miss a thing. <gasps> OMG, I just quoted Aerosmith. Ew, 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 ew. That's my Aunt Beverly's favorite song. We got a lot of great segments coming up, but first, let's begin with the lovely and talented Tiffany Alvord, who was kind enough to teach metal a valuable vocabulary lesson. Check it out, and we'll be back at the end of the show! Not gonna lie, Tiffany. Raising a teenage daughter can be pretty rough. Especially when you don't understand half the things she's saying to you. So, I wrote down a couple of words that I hear a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what they mean. I could try to help. Yeah, that's exactly- I was hoping you could help translate some stuff for, for sure. me. sure. Alright, alright, alright. Let's start with... YOLO. Is that some sort of chocolate-covered Star Wars character? Yeah? YOLO? I, I can't believe you don't know what that means. I have no idea what YOLO means. Okay, it's a very overly used phrase. It means you only live once. Really? Yeah. What about Gangnam style? Sounds dangerous, which intrigues me. I'm pretty sure it's like a horse riding dance. A it's, horse it's riding like dance? It's like K-pop. It's a song and it's like... Wait a minute, what's K-pop? Korean pop. Oh, okay. All right. Can you define swag or swaggy? People with swag or swaggy, uh -huh. like they're just like cool people. Like you look at them and they don't have to try and they're just like cool. It's called swag. They're just like. Raina always says her math teacher is real swaggy. That's odd. Yeah, it makes me uncomfortable. What does that even mean? I have no idea. Like does he have good hair and he like flips it and it's like. That might be correct. And I'll tell you what, I think about kissing that guy every day. I thought, ooh. Oh, it's a long story. Uh, finally, Honey Boo Boo, explain. Have you heard of Toddlers and Tiaras? Uh, that's the show with the awful people who dress up their children uh, Put them in as pageants. if they were Kardashians. Something like that. Yeah. There's this one girl, she's six, and her name's Alana. And she's like, I'm Honey Boo Boo Child. What is she like? She's like, I'm Honey Boo Boo Child. And she's like, ain't nobody gonna beat me, because I'm Honey Boo Boo Child. That was very enlightening. Thank you. You're welcome. You should write one of those, like, uh, dictionary things, but for teen girl stuff. I should totally do that, because I know everything. Well, not everything, but what I do know, I could I could teach the parents, you know? The yeah. language of the teens. There's a lot you have that you could teach a lot of people. I'll, I'll work on that. Thank you. You're welcome. It's time once again for the Metal Challenge! This week, we're turning to one of my favorites, good old-fashioned Apple Chug. The last time we did this with Tiffany Alvord, <laughs> she was too scared to try. Can I count on you, Taryn? Even though you're about to get dominated, to give it your all? Well, I don't think I've had apple juice since kindergarten, but I will give it my all. That's what I like to hear. Three, two, one, go. Oh no, he's gonna get a head start because I'm weak. There we go. Oh! That was my howl of victory! It's not fair, you have bigger muscles than I do. Demonically possessed by Johnny Appleseed himself! I have eaten your spirit! Your apple spirit, at least. Nice try, weakling. My challenge to Elliot is all about American Idol because. Abby. Metal is going to put up pictures of former American Idol contestants, and we are going to have to correctly guess what season of American Idol they competed on. The one with the most correct answers wins. Elliot, are you ready to get your idol on? I was born ready. Yeah, you are. Let's do this, Metal. Fantasia, season three. Yes. Next. Kelly Pickler, season five. Yes, I'm nailing this. Sanjaya, season six. I thought we were playing a game. I don't play games when it comes to American Idol. Next! Adam Lambert, season eight! Gone! Oh, you king! Okay, what's the point of this if you're not even gonna let me play? Stop being such a sore loser, Elliot. You sound like Mitt Romney. 
Next. Constantine season four. I nailed it. Clean sweep. Go. How dare you? Every time you do that, an angel dies. I just wanted to play. I just wanted my shot. Let's find out which of you knows the other one better in a little game we like to call this or that. We're gonna ask each of you five questions. Luke, I'm gonna ask you five questions about Ingrid's fashion preferences. And Ingrid, you're getting five questions about Luke's music preferences. We're gonna see who knows the other better, all right? There will undoubtedly be hell to pay. <laughs> Ingrid, you're up first. You ready? Yes. All right, here we go. Does Luke prefer Kanye or Jay-Z? Kanye. Wrong. Right off the bat, wrong. A lot of confidence behind it, <laughs> but wrong. Two, music from the 80s or music from the 90s? 80s, yeah. definitely. That is correct. Yes. Very easy, well done. It's the right answer. <laughs> Three, Taylor Swift or Adele? Taylor Swift. Right again, yeah. T-Swift. Doing so well. Jeez Louise. Four, Hagar Van Halen or Roth Van Halen? The second one. <laughs> the second one. So it was wrong either way. The second one? Oh, brother. The answer he gave was Hagar Van Halen. Goodness gracious. I'm just gonna move on. Five. Last one. X Factor or The Voice? X Factor? Oh. Oh. The Voice. Oh. That was really sad. That was what? Going to the judges. Two? Two right? Brutal. Let's see how this relationship is going on. Yeah, here. all right, let's see. <laughs> let's check it. Lip gloss or stain? We're going to go with the gloss. That's correct. I do not know what the difference is. I didn't know there's like a thing. Yeah. Target or H? &M? Target. Whoa. Target. I didn't even finish the second yeah. one. Gloss, <laughs> Target. That's. Doesn't even matter. Maxi dress or mini skirt? Maxi dress. Yes, mm -hmm. I don't know what that is, but amazing that you do. Next, Mac or Sephora? Sephora. I think it's weird that we put a question here about computers, but yeah. Gel or polish? I'm not positive what gel is, but we'll go with polish on it. You're right. Yes. Five for five. That's five for five. Hundred percent. Cien por ciento. So I guess that means there's gonna be some hell to pay for Ingrid. Good luck. You are the victor! Luke Conrad! Conrad! Whatever! Yo, it's your boy, Hip Hop! The Hip Hop Challenge is about to go down. Traffic and I are about to play America's new favorite game show. Name that ass. This is the game where we look at a bunch of high profile asses, and me and Traffic have the challenge of finding out whose ass that is. Let's get this party started, yo! Yo, metal, let it rip. It's not a big one, but it's it's plump. <coughs> Fergie. Mm. <coughs> How did I not notice? Mariah Carey. Oh! <coughs> Nicki Minaj. How did oh she got that one? I know Nicki Minaj's ass. It's so high too. What? <coughs> that's donkey. I mean, that's a donkey. <coughs> How did you know that? Connoisseur of ass, man. <laughs> ass is ass. Yo, metal. Let's get this tiebreaker done, son. Throw up this last one. <laughs> Dodgery. The biggest ass of them all. <laughs> well, yo, the winner is of Name That Ass? Everybody, son, we got to look at asses. Make sure to check back next Monday for part two of My Music Presents, The B-Sides, featuring Cimarelli, David Choi, and many more amazing artists. We'll see you in 2013.